Hey. My diamonds is changing the forecast. I just woke up at Dior tags. Walk in the store at Dior Splash. We get a chicken like DoorDash. Remember, I couldn't afford that. Woo! Let's go! No cap. No bat. Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back, JDI family. Welcome back to another extremely lit video, you guys. Welcome back. Before we start, shout out to everybody that's part of Nodi Gang. If you part of Nodi Gang, drop that Nodi Gang down in the comments, bro. Let me know if you part of Nodi Gang. Y'all know extremely lit. No cap. But listen though, y'all. So today, we are gonna try to go and uh, finally tighten my chain up. I think I have the right size uh, wrench for it. I'm not sure. Uh, I had bought this wrench the other day because uh, I needed it for something else. But I think it's the same size as my uh, rear axle. And I also gotta do another oil change because that, that oil that's in there, that we rolled on that a few times so i think it's time for a new oil change and a new oil filter so we are going to do that hopefully i could get this chain tightened for tomorrow it's going to be beautiful out tomorrow uh and yeah and get this oil changed up you feel me um so without further ado i will see you guys when we get to tightening the chain and changing the oil all right you guys so i thought maybe this 32 right here was gonna fit on there but unfortunately it you know it it, it doesn't fit but you know I'm, I'm i'm not mad but it just it just doesn't fit and you guys can see like i just tried it and it just this john flew back at me like okay look i'm gonna strip that a little bit but i mean it is what it is I, this joint has got to be like like it's on like it it gets cuts his grip, but not all the way. I'm thinking this joint is like a 30. Because this is a 27, and it's like a little too small. It might be like a a, thir a 29, 30. It's got to be like a 29 or 30. You feel me? I'm thinking 30 or 20. It might be a 29. Uh, you know what? I'm not even sure. Don't get me lying, you guys. I'm not even sure what that joint is, but you know. Um, we are still going to do this quick oil change on the YZ250F because y'all need to keep your bikes like up to maintenance, you feel me? Make sure y'all take care of y'all bikes, you feel me? Don't don't try to pop out in the pack with a hoagie. Don't try to pop out of the pack. You ain't change your, your oil for months, bro, because that joint finna blow. Like, no, don't do that, bro. Make sure you stay on top of your, your maintenance on your bike. You feel me? So you are ready to go at all times. You feel me? But my change, bro. Look at this, y'all. This is just nuts. Like, I am warming, boy. Look at this. This is not a two smoker. I not no two smoker. I no, not no two smoker. It not both be like that. But it is what it is. Um, it's not a big deal. Um, I just gotta get the right wrench for that. I just really haven't had the time i don't know man i mean it is what it is let's get this oil changed though i'm gonna set y'all down and that was off the choke too she started right up off the choke yo i ain't gonna lie i might have to um i might have to do my valve soon because when it get hot, it be acting weird like she don't want to start up. I might have to do my valve soon. I don't know. another wash I tell you that tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna wash her up for sure 
definitely going to give her a good wash. All right, you don't need to go too crazy. Get it super hot, you know what I mean? Just let it idle, run for a minute. All right. Let me set y'all back down now. Um, honestly, y'all, I'm ready for a ride out now. Like, I just want to get in a pack. Let me go cat. But y'all know, Trey's going to be bringing y'all the lit ride outs. Um, we definitely going to Atlanta, you guys, so... Make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Atlanta ride out is gonna be extremely lit. The Malcolm X ride out. Can't wait. <sighs> so if you have a YZ 250F 2019 or newer, I'm not sure about any other years. Your drain bolt size is a 12. You feel me? You're gonna let this out. Change the air fil the oil filter, and get brazy. And somebody told me that there's a, actually another thing that you gotta take off and clean on the other side. I never knew that. That's why I love you guys for the uh, for the help. I love y'all opinions. I love y'all advice. I love y'all information. Try to let y'all see this real quick. I'm trying to do this, Drew. I'm moving. Why do you try to do this with one hand, bro? Come on, Trey. We know you could do it. Stop worrying. That's why my name just do it, Trey, because I just do it. All right, we got it. Gotta move this over here. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, look at that oil. It's drawing all over my finger fingers. <laughs> Trying to keep the garage nice. Feel me? I don't want it all dirty up in here. Now that we have that out, I'm going to screw this back in. This little drain boat is hard to get to a little bit. I'm going to lie, it's kind of tucked in there. But we got that old oil out. I'm going to just do this. Now we got to take the oil filter off real quick. Get that out of there. Then we have the oil screen that's on the left side. Don't tighten your drain bolt too tight because that drone will strip. It's had it happen before. So, all right, I'm gonna move you guys right here real quick. Try like right here. I can see that oil screen up there. Oil screen, I mean, oil filters right there. So, we're gonna take that out. I think that's an eight. <laughs> Alright, yep, those are eight. Okay, we can do this together, you guys, actually. So, I know we did this before, but y'all gonna see it again. Like I said, bringing y'all through the day. We lit every day. It's always something. Gotta keep your bike A1. These are. A size 8. It's hard to do this with one hand and this. Look at that oil. I'm letting it out. It's going to drip down on the, up under here. Somewhere. That's alright. We'll just clean that like that. If you don't know how to change your oil, there goes a good video, you guys. Okay. Oh, whoa. Did not mean to do that like that. I got oil on me. No, no, no. That's not good. Got oil on my jeans. Look at this. Look at this. The heck is this? What is this, Trey? What are you doing, my guy? I gotta set y'all down. This is getting out of hand. I don't know how often you're supposed to change this oil filter, but I'm gonna change mine every time I change my oil. Why not, right? But um, what you guys do want to do is clean inside your little oil filter holder. If you guys don't know how. These go on. It's very simple. Can't put these on backwards. You feel me? Come on. Bro, open up, bro. Come on. Oh my god. You can't put these on backwards. Look, it only goes on one way. You feel me? So 
always remember that but we're gonna put that right there and make sure you guys clean the inside of this out make sure you clean that out before you put it back in the new one in clean this off to your little cap I didn't just put that back on in place you feel me right there that's good all right I'm just gonna throw that in there now we got to go to the left side and there's an oil screen over here I guess you gotta see that little this right here that black thing gotta take that off and then that comes out that's the oil screen and that's what you gotta clean so let me move the bike over But I just seem to can't eyeball this back axle. Like, I don't know. It's got to be a 30, 29, 30. Because we got a 27. It's not a 27. We have a 32. It's not a 32. It's got to be either a 29 or 30, somewhere right there. It's not a 28. There we go. All right. Got the oil screen out, as y'all can see right here. This joint acting like it don't want to focus right now, bro. All right, whatever. We got it off. We just gonna wipe it off. Make sure there ain't no oil or anything in here. Well, metal. That's what you really don't want to look for. And it looks pretty much good, so that's good. Wish I had something to. Uh, carburetor cleaner that's what we need but it's pretty much good to go just wipe around the area that you guys just took it off from and then place that baby right back in there she's nice and clean now I'm gonna place her right back up in there you feel me we got that on there that's clean now we can put the new oil up in this bed you feel me put the new oil up in this bed Set that right there. And we need 25.3 fluid ounces, y'all. Alright. Got the little measuring cup. Got the Yamalu. 25.3 fluid ounces, y'all. But I'm gonna put a little bit more. Cause we be willing and then all that oil goes to the back. So here goes 18 right here. This is 18 fluid ounces. We need 7.3 more, but I'm gonna put a little bit more. Just cause we do willies. So instead of uh, 25.3, I'm gonna put 26. So we're gonna put eight more. That was 18. We need eight more, y'all. Eight more. Here goes eight right here. And we should be good to go. Keep your bike maintained, y'all. No kappa. Do y'all hear that wind? It's just crazy, bro. To the side, put your cap back on. Good to go, Trey. Good to go, man. Just gotta get this chain tightened. And clean her up. Also, make sure y'all check y'all your coolant level. You always want to make sure your coolant you got coolant in this bit. Man, that job was already pretty tight. Okay. So see, looks like we're running low on coolant, but I have some at the house. So tomorrow I am gonna put some in there. Now we are going to just start it up.
right, you guys, that's it.